I'm here in Galway today to meet an inspirational young lady who was born to run. Katie O'Halloran was born with femur fibula ulna syndrome, which left her without arms and a short right leg. But Katie has never let her condition hold her back from chasing her hopes and dreams. Were you anyway conscious when you were younger that you were different from other children you see walking around the streets? Um, yeah, I did realise that I was different, that I had no hands on the leg. And at the time when I was in England, I wasn't able to walk. I was in a wheelchair because the doctors thought I wouldn't be able to walk. So the doctors told your parents that you'd never walk? Yeah, and it was a long process. I first had to wear two prostheses on my leg, my left leg and my right leg, and learn how to stand and then slowly learn how to walk. And I gave my mom help. I used to scream and I used to cry when I was standing up from them and I used to hate walking up and down the corridor. It was around nine when I first took my first steps up from my communion day, getting the communion and everybody was crying. I thought it was great. You're making it was, me cry. Yeah, yeah. The O'Halloran family is the backbone in Katie's life. There's six of us all together and I have one brother and I have four sisters. So, and I'm the oldest. They're my parents as well. They always push me to be more independent and they never viewed me different from anybody else. So whenever I'm at home and I ask them to go, like, can you get me a drink of water? They're like, no, go get it yourself, or things like that. A great attitude to have. But yeah. I attended a special school over in England called Grove Park School in Kingsbury. And it was kind of for kids who had physical disabilities and mental disabilities. So when I went there, I kind of changed my view on life. I just began to realize that I could do everything like everybody else, and I think that's where it started off. After moving back to Ireland, Katie continued with her education, studying for a Bachelor in Civil Law in NUI Galway. What was it like when you started college? It was a big change because I left home and I moved into Galway and tried to live an independent life. I did my master's in public law in NUI Galway as well. Having finished her studies, Katie is on work experience with McDermott and Allen solicitors, but she is also working on a bigger project. At what point then did you find out that you could get these new arms? I think it was uh, a year ago. I was in college doing some research. So I seen the Bee Bionic 3 hand and on the website they had a video of everything that these hands could do. And once I seen them I knew that these were the hands that I wanted and I needed. So how are your hands going to work? They have little sensors kind of in the arm pieces that will go kind of attached to my arm. And then I kind of send, my brain sends a message to my muscles to kind of twitch. Yes. And then it picks it up and it registers. Katie, you need a lot of money to get these arms. You're doing loads of different types of fundraising. You had a, a wedding with Ross Narone. There was cake sales, people making Christmas cards, loads of different stuff. Yep, they're going to cost 300,000 for the physio and occupational therapy before, after and during, and also for the prosthetists who are going to make the arms. And there's lots of fundraising events that have gone on from my local community who came together and first established the committee. John Mannion and his management team who have come together to create Katie's League of Champions where they're auctioning off Champions League tickets in aid of my fundraiser for my arms. How does it make you feel, Kate, knowing that all that gang is behind you? It's kind of, it's just phenomenal, unbelievable really, that so many people have come behind me to come and support my cause. How are these arms going to change your life? But there's still some things that I can't do with my foot, and so the arms will give me much more freedom and greater independence, and I'll be, they'll also help in my career as well. Right now, my leg is really flexible and agile, but I don't know how it'll be when I'm older, maybe in my 30s. I might not be as flexible, so hopefully the arms will help me write and type, and I won't need to lift my leg up from the table as high anymore.